Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve a Five Rings interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. A frog starts at point zero on the number line and wants to reach point 10. At each move, the frog can jump any integer distance greater than one to the right, but it cannot go beyond point 10. For example, on the first move, the frog cannot jump to point one since it is only one unit away. On the other hand, it can jump to point two or point three or point four and so on up to point 10. For example, suppose the frog jumps to point four. From there, it cannot jump to point five as it is one unit away, but it can jump to point six, seven, eight, and so on. So how many different paths can the frog take to reach point 10? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. We will use recursion to solve the problem. Suppose the frog is located at point i. It could have arrived there from point i minus 2, or point i minus 3, or point i minus 4, and so on. Let fi represent the number of paths the frog can take to reach point i, starting from point 0. So we have the following equation. Now suppose the frog is located at point i minus 1. It could have arrived there from point i minus 3, or point i minus 4, and so on. And so we have the following equation. Notice that both these equations have many terms in common. So if we subtract these two equations, many terms cancel out and we get the following simple equation. All right, note that the frog starts at point zero. Since it is already there, there is exactly one way to be at point zero, and hence F0 is one. However, on the first move, the frog must jump beyond point one, meaning there is no possible way to reach point one. Hence, F1 is zero. Using the recursive formula along with these base conditions, we find that F10 is 34. Let's consider another problem. Now our frog is at point zero on a number line that extends infinitely in both directions. On each move, the frog jumps one unit to the right with probability one by four and one unit to the left with probability three by four. If the number line extends infinitely in both directions, what is the probability that the frog ever reaches point one? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.